We are doing all we can. Speaker Magni is coming, along with a new advisor. He claims to have information for us. Oh, by the light. A new advisor. <clears throat> And win. It's been so long. Oh, dragons. <laughs> I suppose I deserved that. Oh, you deserve more than that. My father is dead because of you. And my father is dead because of the old gods. Lad, he's come to help us. Nefarian the Earth Warder was once the protector of Azeroth, but Nazoth turned a noble mind to madness, and now my father is only remembered as Deathwing. And as I haven't the least desire to share that fate, I've been studying how to avoid it. Just tell me how to prepare for this attack. Our armies will be useless. Nazoth will strike here. He'll manipulate emotions, get people to act in ways contrary to their nature. You won't be able to trust your senses, your memories, your friends. After all, what is real if our perceptions cannot be trusted? Anduin! 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 Don't you see, old friend? It's already begun. Very well, advisor. Tell us how to... Hey everyone, welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. As always, my name is Nathan. Today we're going to be taking a look at something kind of eerie, kind of creepy, and a little bit odd. Imagine being in a world where you're on a whole continent of the Eastern Kingdoms. Nothing is loaded in. No NPCs are around. Everything's gone in sight. The world is inactive. Nobody exists. And you're just by yourself in an empty World of Warcraft server of Stormwind. The auction house is empty. The bank is empty. There's no even vaults on the back wall. This is exactly what we're going to be taking a look at today. Now you may be wondering, Nathan, where the heck are you? <laughs> well, I am actually have escaped out of the Karazhan Crypt, uh, Catacombs, sorry, not Crypts, the Karazhan Catacombs over in Deadwind Pass. And I was doing the scenario for, um, it was a Legion scenario. I don't remember the exact one, but it was a quest line. And as you go to the Karazhan catacombs, but this is what happens when you escape the catacombs. I'll show you guys how to escape here in a little bit. It, it, it takes a little bit of work. It's a little difficult. So just be weary. But when you escape, you actually get a whole empty world of the Eastern kingdoms. Nothing is here. The whole continent is here. But nothing's loaded in. There's no NPCs. You can't buy or trade. You can't do quests. It's just an empty Eastern Kingdoms for you to explore freely by yourself. No mobs, no enemies, no horde. Well, unless you're playing on horde and then there's no alliance. But there's no horde unless you're alliance. Nobody but yourself. You're just alone in the world. It's like one giant liminal space. It's weird. Very weird. It's very eerie. I've never played in a world empty World of Warcraft before. I have in other videos. But it's strange. Nothing's loaded in. You go to Goldshire and it's empty completely. But you can hear the sounds and the ambience and the birds and the trees. It's just very strange. And we're going to go take a walk into Elwyn Forest here in a minute. All right, we're back again exploring the eastern kingdoms and it's very eerie being out here it's very strange exploring a whole empty world of warcraft where nothing's left no tables have loaded in no chairs 
all the rooms are empty. It's like being in one big empty liminal space that you get to explore freely. It's really neat in a sense that it's here, but right now we're going up to Northshire Abbey where the human starting zone is. And as you can tell, there's nothing loaded in. Other than some trees and props, everything else is empty. The, look, the fields are empty where the orcs would usually be. <laughs> it's such a trip. This is a huge OOB that I've actually never explored before. I did find another recent OOB just like this, and it was actually the whole continent of Kalimdor. And a, another scenario that you could break out of. But uh, it's just really trippy. Now, I'm not going to show you guys everything, because obviously we're just exploring the Eastern Kingdoms. You can do that in retail. But if you ever wanted to go check out an empty Eastern Kingdoms... There you go, it even knows we're in the Reco Echo Ridge Mine. So there you guys go. Uh, go freely explore an entirety of an Eastern Kingdoms. I'll show you how I got out of the catacombs. This will just be a quick video. Uh, it would take forever to walk all the way around the Eastern Kingdoms because unfortunately you can't actually mount up. And that would take a long time. I am curious to see what else is out here. I don't think anything other than just the kingdoms itself, but you never know. Um, traveling all the way up to like the Eastern Plaguelands would take me a while, probably about an hour of walking or longer, um, but it's kind of a trip. Just being out <laughs> in an empty world. So I definitely highly recommend you guys come check this out. If you ever wanted to explore by yourself and not be attacked by enemies or other players, Check it out. So I'll show you guys how I broke out of here in just a minute. And uh, thanks for watching. But here's the breakout sequence. All right, guys, we're back. We're right here in the beginning of the Karasan Catacombs. I am currently on the Trail of the Black Prince quest line. And um, I entered down here into the catacombs. And the way I got out was actually right behind me. You are able to clip through the door just enough to where you can actually put your infernal strike outside the door. And once you do that, uh, you'll be able to jump right outside. Now, I'm going to show you what I did here in order to get out. Now, this is a little complicated. It's not easy to perform in a sense that you got to just keep at it until you get it i might not even get it on this video it's kind of tough but i'll show you guys a little simple thing of kind of how i broke out here so in the beginning here when you get on top of the doorway if i can uh get all the way to the very top look down at the ground and you're just gonna want to place your sandbox storm griffin right there so it, it clips through the door right so we're kind of clipped through the door kind of not so we're gonna exit off and then what you're going to want to do is use your Vikel drinking horn or your elixir of giant growth potions, right? And you're just going to want to jump at the door. When you do that, it's going to clip you through. Um, you'll want to just jump on your griffin again. And that way you kind of see we're kind of clipping through the door here. So our dude's kind of halfway sticking out. Now what's great about this door is that you have to load it by clicking on it, right? And you can exit. But if you jump inside the door more, you should be able to just barely stick out to a point where you can see outside the map here. Uh, and like I said, we might not get it, unfortunately. It's a little tough, but you'll see like a little area outside the Deadwind Pass area where you're just barely clipping through the door. And once you do that, there you go. Now you're outside the door. And it's that simple. You just keep jumping outside, jumping outside. You might not even need the toy, but I kind of do that just to line myself up. I, I think it makes it easier. But now I'm outside the uh, Dead One Pass scenario. And now you got the whole entirety of the Eastern Kingdoms to yourself. Like we had just watched in the video before. So enjoy this one, guys. I hope you have fun with it. It was really neat to walk around the Eastern Kingdoms. That's empty. It's really kind of spooky. <laughs> Uh, now, one thing, two things I will tell you. Whenever you do OOBs like this that are this big, avoid water. Because most likely you can't swim and you'll DC. And two, 
don't go underground stay above ground level don't go into the tunnel of um what am i trying to think of like if you go into Stormwind, for instance don't go into the stockades underground you'll dc uh you'll get stuck and then you'll dc you'll run into a dc wall don't go into the deep run tram don't go underground into basements don't because those type of places don't load um they i believe blizzard tries to save resources by not loading in those areas and that's just another way that they keep so but feel free to explore you got the whole entire island to uh the whole entire continent of the eastern kingdoms i haven't been out to vashir yet i'm assuming vashir is there but it's just like i said you can't swim i don't think you can swim i haven't tried it try it out yourself if you want to try it out um but yeah the whole entirety of the eastern kingdom is here feel free to explore and have fun uh unfortunately another thing is you can't mount up in this ob so once you get out because technically wherever you go even if you enter into like the swamp of sorrows or dustwood your general chat doesn't change and you're never supposed to be outside to begin with so you're technically always inside of quote unquote the karazhan catacombs uh so it doesn't allow you to mount up so there you go that's how to get out of the karazhan catacombs i hope you guys enjoyed this video have fun with this one. I know it's a short video, but I just want to show you guys how to get out and uh, explore. So, all right, guys, take care. I'll catch you on the next one.